and bless his name. I'm available. Write my story again. Lord, 
he has done great things for me. You know, I was kind of listening to those songs and the first praise and worship song started out with Goshen, right before your song, Goshen. I begin to look at the front cover of Donald Lawrence CD and it had the Hebrew letters. I said, okay, Most High God, what he know about Hebrew? And the Most High God said, I'm turning all of them back to the one and only Most High God. I'm giving them a new song. So I begin to say Goshen. And so I asked this morning, can somebody look up the definition of Goshen? Oh Lord, I need a Somebody to look up the definition of Goshen again. Because he said, I pray Goshen huh? over you. I need all of y'all to look up the definition of Goshen. And realize it's a Hebrew word. And we're speaking to a Hebrew speaking God. You got to know that Goshen is his protection. Yes. His safety. His peace. His joy. I pray Goshen over you. So come on up here and grab this mic and read the definition. You should have known and called somebody. Read the definition of Goshen. You just take this one. You ain't got to hook all that. Oh, no. Just take that one. Read the definition of Goshen. The land of Goshen is named in the Bible as the place in Egypt huh? Huh? given to the Hebrews huh? by the Pharaoh of Joseph. And the land from which they later left Egypt. What you say? At the time of the Exodus. What you say? Read it one more time. Who oh Lord? The I want land you to establish it. Come of on. Goshen. Yes. Is named in the Bible as the place in Egypt given to the Hebrews. Given to who? The Hebrews. To who? The Hebrews. Okay, all right. All right. By the Pharaoh of Joseph. And the land from which they later left Egypt at the time of the Exodus. Ooh, are we the second? Are we the second Exodus? Are we the second Exodus? So I was sitting up here saying to myself, can you put this on here, girl? Yeah. I was sitting up here saying to myself, hold on now. I can't say her full name, but a sister up in here, you know, she was telling me about Donna Lawrence, you know, had a new CD out. And that was like months ago. She told me this, right? And she said, and the name of the CD is Goshen. It just went right on over my head. Mm. So this morning, the most high, you know, he be dealing with me in praise and worship. I be like this. I am not the praise and worship leader. That would be Shaq. Okay. He was dealing with me in praise and worship. <laughs> so the first song I heard this morning when I turned on my little gospel station on direct TV. It was Donald Lawrence rewritten. Uh, I said, uh-oh, you going to rewrite my story again? Uh-uh, uh-uh. And, and then I said, okay, can you seek out this uh, rewritten CD of Donald Lawrence? And let's see what the name of it is. Oh, now, come on, little girl up in here because I can't say your name. So anyway, we pulled it up, and it said Goshen. Mm. So the first thing I said was, you was trying to tell me something back then. Yeah. But then Yolanda Adams came to remind me oh, that he kept me in the midst of it all. Oh, yeah. What you say? Yeah. I couldn't hear Goshen yet yeah, because yeah. I was in the middle of something. Oh, I was in the middle of the, I'm talking about the worst fight of my life. Huh. I couldn't hear Goshen. Uh -oh. hmm. Goshen is about an exodus. Uh -oh. I was still in captivity on some things. Uh, I was still tied up, bind up in some bondage things that was going on in my life. Well, so I couldn't hear Goshen. Mm. Do you know there are times and seasons in your life that you can't hear? Mm. Because sometimes we let what's in the midst, what's in the midst, what's in the midst take our focus off of Goshen. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm trying to go somewhere this morning. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to go somewhere. I'm trying to go somewhere. So I was thinking about as the song was playing because Yolanda Adams was not in the playlist this morning. Holy Spirit dropped that in my spirit as they was ministered. He said, so now I want you to see where you came from before you got to Goshen. I kept you in the midst of it all. 
So come on now. You ain't going to stand. We ain't got to the new year yet. We the second exodus coming up in March. He kept us. In 5779, where he told us the year we would see the snakes and the grass. And now he's telling us, I'm about to give you Goshen. Huh? 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 I'm about to give you Goshen. And when you go into Goshen, huh? you got to know it's a decade of declaration. So don't you come into this good land flowing with milk and honey and speak death over your life. It's time to see life like never before. Goshen. And all I heard in the spirit was go. Oh, Lord. I, I, I was looking at the Goshen, but I was looking at the Most High God saying, leave all that baggage, pain, hurt, disappointment, discouragement. Leave it in Egypt. Because I got Goshen prepared for you. Oh, I prepare a way before you. Come on now. I make the crooked places straight. I'm giving you now Goshen. Mm, yeah, I was yeah. like, I got to make a declaration. Ah. Oh, I got to make a declaration. And like I was saying, it is well yes. with yes. my soul. Yes. Oh, Lord. It's something about knowing he gave you an anchor for your soul. Yeah. And that anchor grips the solid rock. And that rock yeah. is Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh. It's something about when you can hear Jeremiah say, and you will find rest. For your soul. Mm. Let me tell you one thing. It don't matter what's going on in life. It don't matter if all hell is breaking out. If your soul mm. is well. Mm. What did James say? He said, I hope you prosper as your what? Soul prospers. Oh, Lord. What you say? Yes. You gave me an anchor for myself. Huh. That anchor grips the solid rock. Yep. That rock is your shoe. Uh -huh. You telling me to ask for the ancient path? Yes. Come on. And then you're going to send Paul to tie this thing up in a bow today with the Galatians and how he was ministering to them. Mm. Something about staying fast. Come on. Oh, he kept me. Ooh. Oh, he kept me. In the midst of it all, I think yes. it's a verse in that song that Yolanda Adams is singing. She said, when I wanted to lose my mind, See, there it is. Ooh, there it is. he kept me. Yes. When I wanted to lose my mind, yes. anybody was about to lose their mind in 5779, yeah. I, I know I ain't by myself. Oh. Uh, if anybody was going to lose their mind, yeah. if that was the time to lose your mind, you was going to lose it in 5779. Yeah. But the Most High God had already prepared you for the snakes and the grass. So when they kept coming up, you begin to stand fast. Yes, yes. I got an anchor for my soul, devil. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> and that anchor grips a solid rock. I'm talking about a rock of ages. Yeah. I'm talking about, ooh, Lord, it is well with my soul. Uh -huh. Yes. <clears throat> ooh, Lord. So in 5779, you know, I kind of told House of Time. If that was the year, mm. you were going to take me out, huh. you should have did it in 5779. Stand still and see the salvation. Of the most high God. Yeah. Ye will not have to fight. I thought I had to fight, Miss Evelyn. Yeah. Ye will Come not on. have to fight. Come on. In this battle. Mm. Set yourself. I already told you it's the year you're gonna see the snakes in the grass. Why are you going crazy? Oh. Why are you trying to lose your mind? Uh. Aren't you glad you know that you know that you know that you know? Mm. I think it's better to know than not to know. Because a lot of times we're like, if I would have just knew, I, I would have known that girl. I would. So he put you in a year where you would know. Mm -hmm. He put you in the knowing and you went crazy. Oh, Lord. What you say? Oh, right. He put you in the knowing. Yeah. And you still not your mind. My Lord. Oh, my goodness. Ah. But see, he taught you something what? in that season. So now you have a declaration that says, Rewrite my story again. Yes. You 
you know what? I'm available to you. Yes. You can rearrange some things. Ah. What you say? Come you on. can rearrange some things yes. in my life. Because in my season, in the knowing, I forgot some things. But I'm telling you now, in a season of declaration, I can stand fast. It made me a little bit more stronger. Yeah. Huh. I was in a season that I would bend, but I wasn't going to break. See? But I'm going into a season where I am unbreakable. Uh -huh. What you say? Uh -huh. Come on. Goshen. Yeah. I'm going into a season uh -huh. where I am unbreakable. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, he made me over again. Yeah. Now he about to write the story. There's a rewrite going on. There's a rewritten because he took his finger of love and he wrote the Torah on my inward man. Oh, my soul is rejoicing right now because my soul is saying she got it. She finally got it. Everybody took a season that she didn't know, but she did know. She was in the knowing. But now she says, I'm coming into a season of declaration standing on I am unbreakable. Come on now. Who Lord? Who Lord? And what that other song say? All things. Yeah. All things, Miss Evelyn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The most high God does all things well. All things, all things. And 5779, seven, I wasn't thinking all things was well now. No. I wasn't thinking uh, that. No. I'm sorry, I wasn't. I'm going to tell you the truth. I was not thinking all things was well. No. But now I can see Goshen. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. I can see Goshen up ahead of me. Mm. And so now I can say, hallelujah. Yes. The most high God does all all things well. well. Yeah. It is well with my soul. Yes. So I'm thankful going into 5780 that it's going to be a, a decade of declarations. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to stand up. You understand me right now? I can't wait to stand in the enemy face and say, uh, excuse me, I am unbreakable. <laughs> yes. That's my declaration. That's right. Because I've been broken in a season, but now there is a resurrection. Ah, come on now. There is a resurrection. Yes. So now it's time to get up and stand fast. Huh. And what you going to stand fast in? In the liberty yes. of Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Because who the Son says free is free indeed. Oh, you didn't know you was going through hell. Y'all didn't, didn't know y'all was going through Ooh, yeah. hell in 5779. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you something about your hell. What? Yeshua went to hell. Oh. Took the keys. Uh -huh. And holds captivity captive. Okay. So you can't go back into bondage as you walk into your Goshen. Uh, oh, Lord. I'm, I'm going into Goshen now. Come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing myself. I'm making ready. I'm excited. March what? What is our new year? March. Wait, hold up. We came into this place, this tabernacle, in March. March 17th. Mm -hmm. It will be two years. Mm -hmm. He, after two years, we get Goshen. Oh, Lord. Somebody shout for me. Oh, no. Come on. After two years, yes. we get Goshen. Yes. I done seen some folks go through so many years uh -huh. and they finally get a Goshen. Come but on. we got Goshen after two years. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Most High God does all things well. Yes. Come on! Yes. I'm just like, what? Yes. You know, folks say it takes years and years and years and years and years. You ain't ready yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we really was pushing through. I'm going to do these feast days. I'm going to stand on his commandment. I'm going to walk out his judgment. I'm going to keep his Torah. And he turned around and said, you ain't keeping no Torah. The Torah keeping you. Now keep talking. Oh, Lord. We stood on the Torah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. That's why we going into an unbreakable season. Ah, come on now. You stood. Anywhere you wanted to lose your mind, you stood. I'm going to have to pull up that Donna Lawrence CD and listen to every song on Goshen when I leave here. I'm just like, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul cries holy. Kadosh! 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 Ooh, the sun says free. Is free indeed. Y'all free. Yes. Y'all free. Y'all free. Yes. Y'all free. That's so good because now you can receive this word. Because when you come here all tied up, knotted up, bonded, thinking about stuff going on, this happened, that happened, you can't heal. Amen. And so the most high God said, put your baggage down. Ah. Come on now. Put your baggage down. Lay aside every weight. That's so easily but said you. Yes. I'm going to need you to cast your cares on me. It's my Sabbath. Come on and rest. I'm going to need you to cast your cares on me because I care for you. What? Now you done took off all those layers. Come on now because you know sometimes we walk in here with that big old smile on our face. But uh, we come into Facebook Live with, all right, I just need to hear a word from you. And you're heavy. You got layers and layers and layers of pain. Stuff you walk through, stuff you're still walking through. Mm -hmm. And then the Most High God says, one word, Goshen. Mm. Okay. Oh, Lord. What you say? Yeah, yeah. The Most High God says, one word, Goshen. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. I got some things. He promised me. Did he promise you some stuff? He promised me some stuff. Yeah. I'm going. So that's the reason why we can't let anything hinder us. Mm. Stop linking up with folks that's going to hinder you now. Uh-uh. No, not in Goshen. Okay. You better leave those Egyptians back in Egypt. Well, I made some friends with those Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? They weren't bad people. Yeah. Well, it don't matter about them being bad. They ain't in alignment with the Most High God. Come on, so you can't drag your Egypt into your Goshen. Ooh, well. You can't drag 5779 into your 5780. Huh? So it's time to lay aside every weight. I'm dropping my bags. Anybody okay. dropping their bags? Yeah. I'm dropping my bags. I'm dropping them. Yep. And I'm thankful yes. that I'm going into Goshen. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ooh, when you was in that thing, though, in the midst of it all, you didn't think he was there. You was like this. I know how to pray and I know how to read my Bible. Stop telling me stuff I already know how to do. Don't y'all be doing like that sometimes? Yeah. Like this. What you need to do is just apply a principle. I know that. Yeah. But it don't seem like my situation changing. No. Well, the word says they that wait upon. Quote me another scripture. I wish you would. No, see, come on. I mean, let's get real. Yeah. They that wait upon the Lord yeah, shall be. Yeah, I'm glad you are walking, talking, quoting Bible, but when oh, it comes down to it, ain't no obedience in you, so I can't listen to you anyway. Well, y'all know y'all got your the Egyptian friends that know the entire Bible cover to cover because they don't went to the Bible in a year. You know that you got them. Mm -hmm. They want to quote you some stuff, send you some stuff coming straight from Egypt, and the Most High God is saying in the Book of Proverbs, uh, this book of the law. Oh Lord, if you don't walk in it. Your prayers are an abomination. Why you got folks praying for you that they can't get a prayer through anyway? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Their prayers are an abomination. Y'all calling up Egypt. Hey, girl, I know I used to go to so-and-so. How pastor doing? Yeah, girl, she doing it. Can you pray for me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Her prayers are abomination. <laughs> the most high God don't hear it. Right. So now that he's giving you Goshen, he's preparing your mind. Because, see, it was your mind that tried to take you out in 5779. Yeah. So we still got some time. We in the month of January, y'all. Mm -hmm. March is our new year. So now there's a preparation going on. Come on. Which you got to do something. You have to prepare your mind mm -hmm. for your goalship. Yes. You got to guard your heart mm -hmm. going into 5780. He said in his word to guard your heart. Yeah. So we're going to have to walk in some areas mm. that our mind is going to try to tell us we can't walk there. Mm. Well. Now, you know this is the weekend of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, right? Try to tell him he couldn't march somewhere, couldn't walk somewhere. They put dogs and all kinds of stuff on him. He just kept on walking. Threw him in jail. He just kept on walking. Right. It's in our blood. We Hebrew. 
Yeah. We don't have a I'm a back down kind of spirit. Mm -hmm. I done told y'all about my best black history moment with Miss Megan telling the queen, you know what it, I can't say. Oh, anyway, you know, we don't have that kind of spirit. Yeah. You want to know why? Because he didn't give us a spirit of fear. Oh, Lord. It's not even in our DNA. We ain't even made like that, Miss Evelyn. So when you say out of your mouth and a decade of declaration, I'm scared, I'm afraid. You lying to yourself. Ooh. You better tell your mind to sit back in 5779 because you are liar in a year of declaration, a decade of declaration. I am unbreakable. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you better mean it. Okay. I'm more than an overcomer. I'm more than a conqueror. I have to conquer some stuff in Goshen. He said the land already yours. You ain't got to do no conquer. Just walk in. Because <laughs> that's how you know we think we still got to fight. Your fight is over, Dr. J. Just walk on in. I got you. All you got to do is make a declaration. Like I told Joshua, this book of the law should not depart from your mouth. Meditate day and night. Just speak it. In Goshen, all you got to do is speak it. What? So if you feel like things are getting a little dark and you're in Goshen, you better say, let there be light. Ooh, child. And the light's going to come on. Okay. Because it's your decade of declaration. Uh -huh. So ain't no more darkness. Okay. So that's how we walk it. Y'all got it? Yeah. You prepare yourself? Mm -hmm. You might want to write some things down because what you write will come towards you. Yeah. This is the time to break out a journal. And I'm not a journaling person. I just live my life because I, I, you know, I just tell everybody. It was so funny when I was in class in school. It was like this. Do you journal? No. And my professor going to say, she don't need to. She tell you everything. She's just a walking little book. She just tell it all. But for those who journal or those who never journal, this is your time to journal and put every put on the top of that page this is my declaration yeah. and every time something wants to creep in your mind open that book and begin to read all of your declarations because what you write shall come towards you uh, you know that no. uh -huh. yeah what you write shall come toward you okay. what you say uh -huh. you shall have okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what you repeat uh -huh. he'll bring it to your remembrance oh. So you got to know, speak it, uh -huh. write it, uh -huh. think it. Oh, Ooh, Lord, he's preparing us yeah. to go into Goshen. That's it. Yolanda Adams said you shall win uh -huh. in that song. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're going through, but with Yeshua, you will win. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is our winning season. Yeah. We're walking into our winning season. And you got to know that. Now, don't come into the winning season and y'all being all timid and stuff like, I know she said all that, but I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> That's not a declaration. Amen. A declaration says, I'm just going to speak those things as though they were not as though they are. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to speak it into existence. Okay. Because that's my declaration. Yeah. You can't go into 5780 with the wrong verbiage. Mm-mm. You got to speak life at all times. Okay. At all times. We, we ready. We prepared. We preparing ourselves. We're going to write some things down. We're going to speak some things. We're going to watch our thoughts. When something come up, we're going to cast down those vain imaginations. We're going to take them into captivity. We ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> we ready for this. Right. Yeah. I'm so serious. Got yourself up. Okay. All right, now. Come on. Y'all be quoting, put on the whole armor of God, and y'all be scared. <laughs> that you be able to steal the stand for the wise of the evil one. You be like, dude, I don't know. The devil attacking me, and I just don't know why. The devil looking at you like, I am not attacking you. <laughs> you are attacking your own self and oh, your mind. Oh, no. But I'll sit here and listen. Because everything you say, I'm going to be a witness to it, because I'm an accuser of the brethren. So while are you speaking all that down? I'll be like, you right. The devil sitting right there being an accuser of everything you say. But y'all accusing him. He like, ooh, I can't wait to the end. I see. I didn't do nothing to y'all. <laughs> mm. Everything happened to you in your life. The devil did it. The devil made me do it too. And the devil did that. And the devil attacked my family. And the devil, the devil, the devil. No! You're dysfunctional! Get yourself in the Torah and get functional. 
and start blaming everything the devil did it and the devil made me do it and it was because of the devil. I wouldn't have been there if the devil wouldn't have told me to go. You know, it's like we can't do that no more. We got to walk out those vain imagination. You, you know those some vain imaginations, right? It sounds good though, don't it? It sounds so good. The devil made me do it. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> he said, there is no temptation that will come that you can't get out of because he created a way of escape for you. So how are you going to say that? He said, don't say you tempted because the most high God don't tempt. Oh, see. He said that in his words. So be like, I was tempted by the devil. Lies you tell. The lies you tell. You have been more tempted by no devil. So I'm trying to get y'all to prepare yourself. Get your mind right. Okay. Get it right. All right. All right. We're going to go into what Paul is talking about. The Galatians, because I don't think they had their mind together. So Paul was trying to help them out, even though they twisted his word. Mm. And nobody understand Paul, because Paul was talking to people that were in the Torah. <coughs> so therefore, if you are sitting in Christianity, you don't understand Paul, because Paul is talking to Torah keepers. He was talking to people that walked out the door. Right. So they were sitting there like, the Galatians like, well, <coughs> Paul, you sound kind of crazy to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Because, you know, we do the doctrine of men. So we don't understand. So Paul was trying to teach them mm -hmm. that he delighted in the law, in his inward parts. Mm -hmm. Paul was saying, I have to die to my flesh daily. He said, I wrestle against my flesh and the spirit. Paul was trying to help you with the law. He was like, but thank goodness, this renewed covenant yeah. is written on your heart and on your mind. So we should be able to be a little more stable then. It's written on our heart and on our mind. Yeah. So we got to look inward. No longer on tablets of stone, but on tablets of flesh. We got to look inward. It's not outward no more. It's inward. It's internal. I almost say eternal. It's internal. All right. And I'm so blessed, 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 blessed this afternoon by the presence of Brother Anthony that stopped by to see us. Bless you, King Anthony. Bless you. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this word that's going forth. I know one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 yeah. in front. Come on now. I know he establishes his word through the law, the prophets, and the writings. Yeah. And we know how to study the word of the most high God, line upon line, precept upon precept. We walking it out now. Yes. That sounds like a declaration. Y'all should be ready. Y'all yeah. say that now to summarize up. Yeah. I am unbreakable. Oh, Lord, I'm breaking. <laughs> Not in the season of declaration. You got two months to get it together. All right now. Who most high? I come lifting up everyone in the tabernacle this afternoon. I thank you right now that one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. Every last one of us are standing in the need of something. So I ask you right now to give them the desires of their heart. Have them to walk in your Torah like never before. Have them to not waver. Let them be like a tree planted by a river of water. Let them know right now that they will not be moved. Having done all they can, they will just take a stand. So I thank you right now for everyone that's in the tabernacle. I thank you for the listeners on 5 a.m. prayer. The ones that are listening live right now and the ones that will listen to the recording later. Let them know right now that they're going into a decade of declaration and they need to start making a declaration now saying, I am unbreakable. Because the greater one lives on the inside of me and I can do all things through Mashiach who strengthens me. This is my Goshen and can't nobody take it away from me. Because if the most high God before me then who can be against me? I ask you right now to let your word come forth. In the beginning, you spoke your word. Your word created the world out of the fruits of your lips. Let me create this afternoon 
a presence, a correction, an instruction, a direction, protection, that they will know and only hear from you, giving you all the glory, <clears throat> all the honor, and all the praise. And it's in the mighty, mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, I pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Thank you for your Sabbath day. I done left my glasses somewhere. Oh. The word says if two or three gather together in his name, that he would be in the midst. The word says if two touch and agree on anything, yeah. it shall be done. And I know I can't do nothing this afternoon. Without this word being established. Shut up. Through the law, the prophets, and the writers. I ain't talking about the coffin girl. I'm talking about what the uh, prophet is. Okay. <laughs> so the method style of study <laughs> is a process of studying the word of Ahia, Asha, Ahia. They crack it up. I was not telling you to stop coughing. What's the name? Um, I was just saying I saw for fear in the law of prophets and the writers. Okay. <clears throat> Let me start over again. The method style of study <laughs> is the process of studying the word of Ahia, Asha, Ahia, which is I am, that I am in Hebrew, the great I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we seek his guidance in living a kingdom lifestyle. The Torah is the Most High's God's teachings and instructions in 613 principles. It's where the Creator speaks, Mother. And then we search the witnesses through the books of the prophets, the Nevi'ims, and the books of the writings, the Ketavim's, collectively the Torah, the Nevi'ims, and the Ketavim's, or identified as the Tanakh, or as some refer to it, the Old Testament, which is the only book that Yeshua studied and referenced throughout the New Testament. Yeah. Fulfill. Oh, glory. Did, did, did y'all hear that? That's why I was like, shut up, because you know she wrote it. Fulfill. Today we look to the word fulfill. Yes. Hebrews number 4390. Male. Oh. To fill. Uh -huh. Be full. Oh, to be full. Fullness, uh -huh. abundance, be accomplished, be ended, to consecrate, to satisfy. Sounds like Goshen to me. The Torah testifies. Genesis chapter 29, verse 21. And Jacob said unto Laban, give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. Genesis chapter 29, verse 27. Fulfill her week, and we will give thee this also for the service which thou shalt serve with me yet seven other years. Uh-oh. The prophets proclaim. 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. And when thou days be fulfilled, yeah. and thou shalt sleep, with thy fathers. Yeah. I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, uh -huh. and I will establish his kingdom. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 25. Thus says the most high God of hosts, yes. the most high God of Israel, saying, ye and your wives have both Spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands, saying, yeah. We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Right. The writings bear witness. First Kings chapter 8, verse 24. Who has kept? He kept me. Ah. Who has kept with thou servant David, yeah. my father, and thou promised him? Ah. Thou spakest also with thy mouth, yeah. and hast fulfilled in with thou hand, right. as it is this 
day. Yes. What day? This day. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 21. To fulfill the word of the Most High by the mouth of Jeremiah. Ha. Until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath, yes. for as long as she lay desolate, she kept the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. yes. To fulfill three score and ten years. Yes. We have completed the method style of study this afternoon, reviewing fulfill. Yes. First, we recognize there is a standard set in the Torah. And 613 principles. Yes. Then we search the witnesses through the books of the prophets, the never ends, and the books of the writings, the Ketavis. Collectively, the Torah, the never ends, and the Ketavis are identified as the Tanakh, or as some refer to it, the Old Testament, which is the only book that Yeshua studied in reference throughout the New Testament. Friday in prayer, yes. Yeshua came to fulfill the law okay. and bring it to a greater understanding. Yes. This is the work that Paul, his servant, continued. No longer allow anyone to teach you otherwise. Ah, what you say? Yes. Friday in prayer, Yeshua came to fulfill the law and bring it to a greater understanding. This is the work that Paul, his servant, continued. Yes. No longer allow anyone to teach you otherwise. Amen. Job chapter 36, verse 17. But thou hast fulfilled the judgment of the wicked. Judgment and justice take hold on thee. Shalom, Allah King. Peace be unto you, Five A M Bread Community. We must walk, think, and act in the ways of the Most High. Yes. What you say? Write it, think ah. it, speak it. What you say? Shalom, Allah King. Okay. Peace be unto you, Five A M Bread Community. We must seek to walk. Think and act in the ways of the Most High yes. all of our days. Yeah. No more traditions oh, of men mixed with scriptures. Oh, what has the Most High already told us? And Yeshua walked out. My Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Say it again. Shalom, our King. Peace be unto you, 5 a.m. prayer community. We must seek to walk, think, and act in the ways of the Most High all our days. Yes. No more traditions of men mixed with scripture. Amen. What has the Most High already told us? And Yeshua walked it out. Ah. All right now. So now, are you ready? For the word of God, the father of Abraham, uh -huh. the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. Are you ready for the word of God? The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. This afternoon, we are coming out of the book of Galatians. All right. Galatians chapter 5 in its entirety. Again, okay. this afternoon, we are coming out of the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 5 in its entirety and it reads, Stand fast, therefore. Yeah. In the liberty wherewith Mashiach has made us free. Come on, Come on now. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Mashiach shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do yeah. 
Yeah. The whole law. Uh -huh. Woo! Have you read it like that before? Yeah. Say it again, Paul. For I testify yes. again to every man that is circumcised mm -hmm. that he is a debtor to do uh -huh. the whole law. Uh -huh. Mashiach is become of no effect unto you. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Whosoever of you are justified by the law. Yeah. Ye are falling under grace. Wow. For we, through the Ruach HaKadosh spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Yeshua HaMashiach, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, wow. but faith which worketh by love. Ye did run well. Come on now. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? Come on, Mary. Come on now. I hear the scriptures now. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the Torah? My Lord. The truth. Yes. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, say it again. This persuasion yeah. cometh not of him that calleth you. Uh -huh. A little leaven, leaven, the whole loaf. Yeah. Love, I have confidence in you through Mashiach that ye will be none otherwise minded. Yeah, huh. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. Yes. Okay, now. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, huh? why do I yet suffer persecution? Huh? Then is the offense of the crucifixion ceased. Huh? I would they were even cut off which trouble you. Mm -hmm. right. For, brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Yes. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, right. but by love serve one another. Mm -hmm. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Mm -hmm. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor yep. as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, yeah. take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Mm -hmm. right. This I say then, walk in the spirit, ah. and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. For the flesh lust is against the Torah, mm -hmm. the spirit, right. and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other. Right. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Oh my wow. goodness. Right. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Right. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, mm -hmm. which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, Variants, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresy, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revealing, and such like. Mm -hmm. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, mm -hmm. that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High God. Yeah. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. And they that are in Mashiach has crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Yeah. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Yeah. May the most high God mm. 
add a blessing, come on, Paul, to the reading and hearing of his most holy word. So what was the Galatians problem? Now, I just done read Galatians chapter 5. What was the Galatians problem? Well, that sounds like the Galatians problem. <laughs> it was trying to obey mm. the law. Mm -hmm. And some would say, many have believed the notion that would say, we must therefore avoid walking according to the law. Oh. Lest we become bewitched yeah. as they were mm. and come under bondage. Mm. Is this notion true according to scripture? Is this notion true according to scripture? No. Let's look at what Paul was saying to the Galatian believers. Come on now. And Paul's letter to the Galatians, mm -hmm. Paul reveals that those of the Galatian believers were attempting to teach that circumcision was part of the most high's requirement for being justified. Okay. They were teaching in practice a mixture of justification by faith and by works and had even progressed to the point that they were celebrating heathen religious holidays that we see commonly practiced in the congregations today. My Lord. This mixture of errors by the Galatians resulted in Paul's letters of correction. Yes. So what you don't realize about Paul's letters is that they were letters of rebuke. Yes. Yes. So this is Paul's letters correcting the Galatians. Yes. Uh -huh. Paul spoke of the Galatians, uh -huh. teaching as being another gospel, a false gospel, and its teachers as false brethren. Yes. Come on, Paul. Yes. Come on now. What was that teaching? What was that teaching? Let us look. Know carefully. That in the letter to the Galatian believers, Paul says that it is those that attempt to be justified by the law that have fallen from grace. Yes, yes, yes. What did Paul say? What did Paul say? Paul said it was those that attempt to be justified by the law that have fallen. From grace. So if we think that we are justified yeah. in the sight of the Most High mm -hmm. by our keeping of the law mm -hmm. or by doing any other good thing, yeah. then we are attempting uh -oh. to be justified uh -huh. by that good thing that we have fallen from the position of justification by grace to the position of justification by works. Oh. Oh. Then we have fallen from grace. Okay. Right. However, if our justification hmm. is the shed blood of Yeshua alone, oh, no. come on down, Paul. If our justification yes. Is the shed blood of Yeshua alone. Then Yeshua himself is our justification. Yes. And we are receivers of his grace. Uh -huh. We then have the freedom yeah. to choose whether or not to obey him. And freedom to choose whether to obey his law that he writes mm -hmm. on our hearts. Yes. yes. The end result is that some will choose to obey the Most High's laws, not in order to become justified, uh -oh. but because they are justified. Uh -huh. And because uh -huh. they love the Most High and desire to please Him. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> Say that again, Dr. Uh -huh. Jack. So, we then have the freedom yes. 
Yeah. To choose uh -huh. whether or not to obey him. Yes. And freedom to choose whether to obey his law that he writes on our hearts. Right. The end result is that some who choose to obey the most high's law, mm -hmm. not in order to become justified, uh -huh. but because they are justified. Yes. And because they love the most high yes. and desire to please him. Ah, come on now. So, so, we see yeah. that the Galatians were doing several things that called for correction. Uh, what you say? Yes. So, we see that the Galatians were doing several things uh -huh. that called for correction. Yeah. They were confusing uh -huh. external features of the old covenant with internal features of the new. Ooh, come on, Holy Make Ghost. They were confusing external features of the old covenant mm -hmm. with internal features mm -hmm. of the new. Yeah. They were also trying to compel people to keep certain features of the old covenant and were trying to impose the keeping of such as a requirement for justification. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The Galatians oppose the Most High's purpose, purposes. Mm -hmm. The problem among the Galatians was a common one. There was also in that day, however, mm -hmm. another problem okay. of just the opposite nature. Mm -hmm. Perhaps born out of fear of legalism uh -oh. of the Galatians believers. This problem was one of the antitonism, which simply means a state of being without the law at all. Well. A sort of no man's land in between grace and works, mm. what you say? Wow. A sort of no man's land in between grace and works. So teaching suggested that once a person is set free, he does not need to serve Anyone at all. Oh. Ooh. He is free and will not have anyone telling him what to do. Mm. Okay. He will not obey any laws at all. Mm -hmm. After all, we are saved by grace and not by works. Uh -oh. Could this be where congregations are today? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Could this be where congregations are today? Crept in unawares. What you say? Crept in unawares. There is a concept of grace being taught today that rejects the concept of walking in grace. And according to the law, at the same time as Paul did and taught. Say it again. Mm -hmm. There is a concept of grace mm -hmm. being taught today that rejects the concept of walking in grace. Yes. Okay. And according to the law. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time on, right. as Paul did and taught. Mm -hmm. The idea of obedience to the Old Testament law by New Testament Christians, one is rejected by the majority of the church teachers today. Mm. Obedience mm -hmm. to the law of the Most High is considered today to be teaching of legalistic denominations in the realm of cults. Oh my goodness. Mm. If you teach the law, you are in a cult. That's where that come from. Huh. Wow. You turn to the Torah, crossed over, he brankly. We don't want to listen to that five and prayer. They're in a cult now. Mm. If you teach the law, you are in a cult. Okay. The camp of the enemy. What? Yeah. Thus the teaching of Paul have been twisted and distorted Beyond recognition by false teachers, yeah. prophets, and apostles. 
It is these false teachers and their teachings mm -hmm. of what Yeshua, Peter, and Paul said, beware, yeah. crept in uh -oh. yeah. unaware. Yes. We must ask, why is there such an outcry today? among popular evangelical pastors and teachers mm -hmm. and in other Bible-based groups against obedience to the law of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Right. We're reading the same Bible. Right. We're standing on his word mm -hmm. from Genesis to Revelation but so-called pastors, evangelists, prophets, all of them are against teaching the law of the Most High. Mm, yeah. We must ask ourselves that question, why? Yes. The scriptures reveal the answer. Come on, word. Okay. Yeah. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High God. Oh. Say it again. Oh. What you say? Because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high God. For it is not subject uh -huh. to the law uh -huh. of the most high God. Oh, neither indeed can be. Right. Oh right. my goodness. Right. Romans chapter 8 verse 7. Wow. It is carnal mind that is not subject to not submissive to the law of the most high God. Uh, yeah. Thus, the carnal mind is against the most high's purposes. The carnal mind is the enemy of the most high God. Wow, there it is. Wow. Woo, so good. Wow, so good. Most of the congregations of today or not walking in freedom, in new covenant liberty. The vast majority of the congregations in this generation are filled with commercial pastors and teachers who promise their people liberty. But in reality, are tickling the ears. Of their carnal congregation. Oh my goodness. You better see 2 Peter. Chapter 2. Verse 1 through 22. Wow. Repeat that Dr. J. The vast majority. Mm -hmm. Of the congregation. In this generation. Are filled with. Commercial pastors. And teachers. Who promise people liberty. But in reality. Are tickling the ears of their carnal congregations. You better see 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1 through 22. These pastors and teachers and their congregations are not able to be subject to the law of the Most High. Right. Now, we may ask. If they have been set free from the law, but are not yet obeying the most highest law, who are they now obeying? Oh, yeah. <coughs> that's good. Excuse me. Yeah, that's real good. Mm -hmm. Now we may ask mm -hmm. if they have been set free mm -hmm. from the law, mm -hmm. but are not Yet, obey Come on. the most high's law. Who are they obeying? There are only so two choices. Uh -oh. What you say? Uh -oh. There are only two choices. Uh -oh. A walk of love. Come on, uh -oh. most high guy. Uh -oh. A walk of love. After a man is set at liberty... From the bondage of sin. Mm -hmm. And from sin's strength. The law. There are only two choices. Of further action. Yeah. For him to take. Mm -hmm. There are only. 
two masters. Uh -huh. He will either choose to serve the one uh -huh. and obedience unto life. Or else he will end up choosing to serve the other in obedience to sin unto death. Mm. One choice results in going back into bondage of sin in the world. Oh the other choice is that choosing to return to the master out of love to take on his yoke of bondage and results in liberty in life. Yes. How does one serve the master in obedience unto life mm -hmm. and continue to remain in freedom without going back under bondage? Mm -hmm. There is only one way to remain free. And the songstress tells us the way. Okay. And I will walk mm -hmm. at liberty. Okay. For I seek thou precepts. Ah. What you say? Yes. And I will walk yes. at liberty. Come on. For I seek thou precepts. Yes. Psalms chapter 119 verse 45. Okay. We see two things here. First, we see that remaining free is a walk. Wow. What you say? Wow. We see two things here. That remaining free is a walk. Come on, Goshen. Come on, Goshen. This is my exodus. Come on now. A walk. Of obedience to Yeshua yes, yes. and to us. Secondly, uh -huh. we must seek the Most High yes. and His precepts. Yes. After He has set us free, we who have chosen to become bond servants and who desire to love Him must continually. Seek his precepts Amen. and must obey, must walk in his law as he reveals it to us. Yes, yes, yes. In doing this, we are to remember that we are not justified by our works, Ooh, come on. but by what we do. Uh -huh. We do, however, seek to please others. And so we must walk in obedience of our love of our. Yes. Our goal, our destination in this walk is our love of Yeshua yes. and our and of the brethren. Yes. Notice our goal seen in the following passage. Now the end, the aim. Yeah. Purpose or goal of the commandment is charity, love out of a pure heart yes. and of a good conscience and of good faith unfringed. Yes. Right. What'd you say? Now the end, because y'all thought it was the end of the law, oh, but God. end in Hebrew means the aim. Ah, okay. Now the aim. Now the purpose, yeah. now the goal of the commandment. Uh, Come on, read your thing right, go. Yes. Read it the correct yes. way. Come on. Yes. Paul is coming with correction. Yes. Now the aim, now the purpose, so now good. the goal yes. of the commandment uh -huh. is charity, which is love out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and a faith unfringed. Uh -huh. First Timothy. Chapter 1, verse 5. Here we see that our goal, our destination in this walking in the commandments is our love of Yeshua and love of Abba and love of the brethren. Come on, all right. So I know you're saying right now, which commandments? Come on, most high God. I know you're saying to yourself, which commandments? We must next ask, what law do we obey? <laughs> you ain't going to ever get us caught up. Well, come on now. 
You ain't got no wiggle room. Ah. Cause I know that's all. What I just show? What laws do we obey? What commandments do we obey? How many times you get that? Mm. <laughs> what law do we obey? Yeah. We have been told for years that the Old Testament has been nullified. Say it again, Dr. J. We have been told for years that the Old Testament has been nullified, done away with, and does not apply to New Testament saints. Uh -huh. We have been taught that Yeshua fulfilled all the law and the prophets, uh -huh. so we would not be obliged to do so ourselves. Hasn't the Old Testament law been nailed to the stake <laughs> so that we need not to obey it anymore? Mm. And didn't Paul state that the words he wrote were the commandments of the Most High? So how can the Old Testament, the law, and the prophets be a part of the commandments that the Most High wants to write on our hearts. Come on. 5 a.m. prayer. Much of the teachings we have been given are muddled mixtures of half truths based on vagueness, mm -hmm. understanding, along with the traditions of men, and even a few outright lies. Just a few. Let us hear the word of the Most High in the matter. First, let us note. What Yeshua said, if ye love me, yeah. keep my commandments. Yeah. John chapter 14, verse 15. Here we see that Yeshua equates loving him with keeping his commandments. Ah, right. Just a few verses later, however, we see that Yeshua equates loving him with keeping his words. Yes. If a man love me, he will keep my words. Yes. The words which you hear is not mine, huh. but the Father who would sent me. John chapter 14, verse 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. Yeshua's words, he goes on to explain, are not his words, but are the words of the Father who sent him. Mm -hmm. Thus we see that Yeshua himself Explain that love for him is the keeping of Yeshua's commandments, which are the same ah. as Yeshua's words, which are in reality the words of Abba. Right. John goes on to further state the relationship between love and keeping the keeping of the most high's commandments. Yes. For this is the love of the Most High God, that we keep His commandments, yes. and His commandments are not grievances. Who said that? John. Yeah. First John chapter five verse three. Hey, New Testament, how you did away with the Old Testament? Hey, go John right here telling you. Uh -oh. For this is the love of the Most High God. Yeah. That we keep his commandments. Yeah. And his commandments are not grievances. Well. First John chapter 5 verse 3. Now, let us observe what makes up the commandments of the Most High. Since oh, you ain't God. never been taught. Yes. Now, let us observe what makes up the commandments of the Most High. Yeah. First, we shall notice what Yeshua said. Think not that I am come to destroy the law That's what it said. or the prophets mm -hmm. till heaven and earth pass. Not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Yeah. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments mm -hmm. and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least. In the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. 
Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 through 19. Yeah. Notice that when Yeshua used the word, therefore. Mm -mm. Come on now. Come on now. Notice when Yeshua used the word, therefore. He made the connection between the commandments, the least of which are not to be broken with the law, that it is not to be destroyed. These are one and the same. What you say? These are one and the same. 5 a.m. prayer. Yeah. Beloved, let us read that verse again. Okay. Have we also noticed who it is that shall be called great? And who shall be called least? And the kingdom of heaven. The law and the prophets is one name for the Old Testament and the Old Covenant. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Did you know that? That just blew my mind. The law and the prophets is one name of the Old Testament and the Old Covenant. So Yeshua is telling us that the words yeah. of the law yeah. and the prophets, the Old Testament, are the commandments of the Most High. Come on now. But let us notice what Paul said. Okay. The things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Ah. Yes. Yes. What you say? But let us notice what Paul said. The things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Most High. Yeah. First Corinthians yeah. chapter 14 yeah. verse 37. Yeah. Some have wrongly concluded from this verse that the writings of the apostles are the only commandments of the Most High we must obey. Huh. This view, however, would seem to contradict what Yeshua said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 through 19. Right. However, from that verse, the only thing we may conclude is exactly what it says. Come on now. Right. That what Paul writes are the commandments of the Most High. Just this would imply that all the writings of the New Testament are simply a Holy Spirit inspired revealing explanation of the commandments of the Most High. Oh, Come on and walk it out. Yes. yes. Ah. <laughs> that's good. Oh, Lord. That's good. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We have thus Far seen uh -huh. that the Most High is writing the law of the Most High by the finger of the Most High on tablets of our hearts. What you say? Yes, yes. We have thus far seen that the Most High is writing the law of the Most High by the finger of the Most High on tablets of the heart. Yes, yes. yes. This law is made up of the very words of our Abba. Yes. The commandments of the Most High. And includes both the law and the prophets. The Old Testament and the New Testament. We shall now look further into the idea of the Old Testament writings being a, being a part of the law that the Most High wants to write on the hearts of New Testament saints. Mm -hmm. Now let me give you some clues. And I'm talking about many clues. Many okay. clues. Many clues. All right. First. Let us understand. That the most high. Has concealed. Has hidden. Much of his word. Especially his commandments. From men. Right. Woo! Let us 
understand that the Most High has concealed, has hidden much of his word, especially his commandments from men. It is his glory to conceal his word. But the honor of kings is to search it say. out. Oh. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh. It is his glory yeah. to conceal his work. Yeah. But the honor of kings is to search it out. Uh, yeah. yes. Thank you, Mosiah. He does not allow the casual observer to find him. Thank you, Most High. I've been wondering why they won't come into the toilet. They too casual. Wow. Wow. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. Wow. He does not allow the casual observer. Yeah. To find him. Ha, ha. But guards his presence in his heart fiercely. For his presence is only for those who search him out ha. diligently, showing their faith and love for him. Yes, you will not stop the blood. Thank you, Lord. I just love him. This is amazing. For those that seek. The Most High has given us an abundance yeah. of clues in the New Testament that leads us to search out His Word. And that's what we do on 5 a.m. prayer. We read yeah. the New Testament and say, hold up, wait a minute. This is in the Old Testament covenant. Yes, yes, yes. See, there it is. He has placed many clues Ooh. throughout the Old in New Testament come on. so that the seeking one, come on Mary uh -huh. so that the seeking one yes. can easily find him uh -huh. what? and his law that is to be written oh. on their hearts oh, oh. you better come on those high God wow. the book of Hebrews yes, yes. mentions many better things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you say? Yeah. The book yeah. of the Hebrews uh -huh. mentions many better things uh -huh. of the new covenant. Ooh, Some of these are a better promise. Oh my. Better sacrifice. Oh Lord. Better blood. Thank you. And a better priesthood. Okay. After the eternal order of Melchizedek. However, the priesthood remains as does the sacrifice of Yeshua and the remission of sin by his blood. Yes. These facts alone proves the presence of the law as part of the new covenant. You better say it again. These facts alone prove the presence of the law as a part of the new covenant. Yeah. If the law huh? had disappeared, oh, you better come on most high. Uh, if the law yeah. had disappeared, yeah. there would be no forgiveness by blood. Ooh. And we would be still in bondage to sin. My Lord. Other than what is mentioned yeah. in Hebrews, yeah. the law and the prophets remain as the testimony wow. of which commandments are to be written on the heart. Oh, Lord. Goodness. Other than what is mentioned in Hebrews, the law. And the prophets yeah. remain as the testimony of which commandments are to be written on the heart. Yes. Even the prophets speak okay. of the future time mm. right. when Mashiach will be ruling in Jerusalem. Come on. Uh -huh. Notice what will be happening. Okay. And it shall come to pass yes. 
that everyone that is left of all the nations uh -huh. which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to wash up the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacle. Uh -huh. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 16. Next notice in the context in verse 20 that this is after the reign of Mashiach is set up in Jerusalem. Right. The practice of the feast of the Most High was and is and is to come. Yes. What you yes. say? Yes. The practice of yes. the feast of the Most High was and is and is to come. Yes. These are his activities. And even today, mm -hmm. his Talmudines keep these feasts Unto him, because the feasts of the Most High are shadows of things to come. The keeping of these feasts allows us to gain good understanding of the Most High's timetable and His purposes. Yes, yes. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Shadows of the New Covenant. Come on, Most High God. Shadows. Of the new covenant. Our wow. father has given us abundant evidence showing us which law the most high writes upon our hearts. Ooh. Let us first note that after Moses had broken the first set of tablets containing the Ten Commandments, right. he went back up upon the mount Ooh. where the most high wrote a second set. With words identical to the first set. Yeah, 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 you better yeah. come on. And the Lord said unto Moshe. Hew these two tables of stone. Yeah. Like unto the first. Uh -huh. Come on Moshe yes. God. Yes, yes. And I will write upon these tables. The words that were in the first table. Come on, come on Moshe yeah. God. Yeah. Which thou breaketh. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Ah. Exodus chapter 34, verse 1, drop down to 28. Yes. And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writings, the Ten Commandments. Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse this 4. Good. This second set of tablets written by the finger of the most high is a beautiful foreshadowing of the new covenant. Yes. You better come on most high God. Yes. The second set of tablets written by the finger of the most high is a beautiful foreshadowing of the new covenant. Uh -huh. The first set of stone tablets was thrown down and broken by Moses. And speak figuratively of the old covenant which the most high knew could only be broken. Yeah. What you say? Oh my goodness. The second set of stone tablets written by the most high speaks of the new covenant which foreshadowed what to be written on the tables of the heart and not be broken. Oh my goodness. But notice that the words of the second set were identical words as written on the first set of the Ten Commandments. Right, right. Ooh. So what is that? Wow. One law giver. Oh my goodness. This is good. One wow. law giver. Wow. I'm going to say it again, Mary. One law giver. Beloved, yes. 5 a.m. prayer. Come on. come on. When we come to the rationalization or realization that it is Yeshua that wrote the Ten Commandments come with on. his come finger on. upon the eternal tables of stone, his words in the following verses take on a new significance. Yes. If ye love me, yes, yes. If ye keep. My commandments, mm -hmm. ye shall abide in my love, mm -hmm. even as I have kept my father's commandments mm -hmm. and abide in his love. See, it's like that. It's so good. Mm -hmm. John chapter 15, verse 
15, so verse 10. <laughs> By this we know yes. that we love the children of the Most High God. Yes. When we love the Most High God and keep his commandments, for this is the love of the Most High God, that we keep his commandments. There it is. And his commandments are not grievances. First right. John chapter 5, verse 2 and 3. For those of us that would press on to know our Abba, uh -huh. let us remember that the only way so to know the Father yeah. is from Genesis, from the beginning. Yes. Let us know also that it is specifically the fourth commandment that has been given to the most highest people in order for them to know him. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Speak that also yes. unto the children of Israel. Yes. <coughs> Saying, Verily, my Sabbath ye shall keep. Mm -hmm. For it is a sign between me and you. Throughout your generations, yes, yes. Uh -huh. that ye may know that I am the Most High yes. that does sanctify you. Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. Uh -huh. Moreover, also, yeah. I gave them my Sabbath yes. to be a sign. Between me and them. Yes. That they may know. That I am the most high. Mm -hmm. That sanctified them. Yes. Ezekiel chapter 20. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. And hollow my Sabbath. And they shall be a sign. Between me and you. Yeah. That ye may know. Uh -huh. That I am the most high. Mm -hmm. Your God. Ezekiel chapter 20. Verse 20. Thus we see from the beginning a connection between keeping of the Most High's commandment and knowing the Most High. Right. Now here come the final test. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The final test. In Yeshua's disclosure to his disciples, mm -hmm. he spoke of the kingdom of heaven. He said that in that day, many would call him Lord, but would not be able to enter into the kingdom. Yeah. He goes on to explain that only the ones doing the will of the Father will be amid. Right. Let us look closely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come on, man. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Right. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, yeah. have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 through 23. We can see from this that there are three elements to this reply yeah, 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 yeah. of Yeshua. Okay. What you say? We can see from this that there are three elements to this reply of Yeshua. Okay. First, that work in iniquity is the opposite of knowing Yeshua. Huh? What you say? No. <clears throat> what you say? First, that work in iniquity is the opposite of knowing Yeshua. Yeah. Second, that work in iniquity is the opposite of doing the will 
love. Yes. Third, that the interest to the kingdom of heaven is not based of what one possesses or say, but is based only upon doing the will of the Father. Yes. yes. What we have been taught or what we say we believe or what leaders say but is based only upon the Father's will. So when you look at this, only what he says will count right. in that day. Yeah. All that will count in that day. According to the words of Yeshua is what are we doing or not doing? Right. What you say? Uh, All that's going to matter to Yeshua is what we are doing or not doing. Right. Are you doing the will of the Most High God? What is the will? His Torah. He wrote it down. He gave it to you so you can have life. Now, if we know that the working of iniquity will prevent us from knowing Yeshua and will prevent us from doing the will of the Father, we might then ask, what is iniquity? <laughs> we might ask, what is iniquity? Because see, we didn't ask in Bible study. We didn't ask in Sunday school. And they sure didn't tell us in church. Come on now. What is iniquity? Yeah. The word iniquity used here is a Greek word anomia. Yeah. Right. Strong's number 458 and 459, which means a condition of disobedience to or being without law. Okay. Iniquity on, is lawlessness. Come on, now. Mm -hmm. so we could just walk out now. Oh Lord, yeah. iniquity is lawlessness. Mm -hmm. The hallmark of the present generation. Okay. Watch us, are you sure? The hallmark. The hallmark of the present generation. Yes. In this generation. The law of the Most High has been tossed aside. Yeah. Both the second and fourth commandment has been spiritualized. Yeah. Out of our lives and teachings of countless multitude of believing ones. The law of the Most High has been tossed away in our thinking to the ash heap of a lesser covenant. The victim of teaching of a lawless form of grace. Ooh, it is this issue of iniquity, specifically obedience or disobedience to the Ten Commandments, including the Second and Fourth Commandment, Ooh. that will be determining factors of whether Yeshua knows us or whether he says, I never knew you. Right. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. According to Matthew chapter 7 verse 23. Let us be reminded that the foundation of our love for the master and the beginning of the walk of liberty is our voluntary action of going before the master and bending our ear to the doorpost where his master shall bore his ear. Right. Through with and all, and he shall serve him forever. Exodus chapter 21, verse 6. For it is upon the doorposts where the law was commanded to be written. What you say? For it is upon the doorposts where the law was commanded to be written. Ye shall lay up these, my words, in your heart, and ye shall teach them. Your children, and thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thy house. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 18 through 20. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at the gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34. We have been set free and justified freely. 
by his grace through the redemption that is in Yeshua HaMashiach. Therefore, let us rediscover the law of the Most High as did the Halakai, the high priest, in the 18th year of the reign of King Josiah as our example today. Let us begin to obey the commandments of the Most High, not of compulsion, not for justification or righteousness, but out of the love for him. Love as the motive for obedience under the new covenant is stronger than the threat of penalty of death, which was the motive for obedience under the old covenant. Right. Thus we see that love is stronger than death. You better see the Songs of Solomon, uh -huh. chapter 8, verse 6. Yes. So what must we do? Uh-uh. What must we do? Right. Let us choose to do and to teach. And the least, even the least of Yeshua's commandments, not for righteousness or justification, not of compulsion, but only for the motive of love. Let us press in to know our loving him with all our heart, soul, and mind. Let us allow Abba to lay the foundation course of costly stones, even great stones, stones of 10 cubits and 8 cubits in our hearts. For it is only upon the established, sure foundation that the seal of the Most High appears. Yes, yes, yes. Then, if the Most High permit, let us go on unto perfection. Let us allow Yeshua to write the commandments of the Most High, the full counsel of the Most High, to write himself upon the tables of our hearts and to set himself as a seal on our hearts. For it is only among Yeshua's Talmudines that his law is sealed. Yes. Ooh, Lord, we got a seal on us. Yes. Let us pray for those that would tell us that obeying the commandments of the Most High is bondage. Love truly is a bondage. But many believers today do not yet understand the biblical truth. Mm. You better see Colossians chapter 3 verse 14 and 1 John chapter 2 verse 4 through 5. Let us also remember that our prayers are answered because we keep his commandments and because we do what is pleasing in his sight. Yes. You better see 1 John chapter 3 verse 22. There are many who have been set free from the bondage of sin by the blood of Yeshua and have come down off Mount Sinai into the valley. Right. They have been set free, but they have not yet chosen this day whom they will serve. Yes. They are yet in the valley of decisions. What you say? When one of these standing on the valley floor looks up to the heights of the heavenly Mount Zion, he sees certain features of Mount Zion far off in the distance that appears unfamiliar. Uh -oh. Except that some of those features bear a faint resemblance to those things he left on Mount Zion. Uh -huh. He has been thoroughly warned by his leaders against anything that looks like bondage. So when he sees the perfecting agape love in the heights of Zion, mm -hmm. he does not recognize what he sees. The things of Zion are spiritually discerned. Today there are multitudes of Christians in the valley of decisions who do not know this agape love. The love of many has grown cold due to their iniquity, their disobedience to the law of the Most High. Their disobedience to the Ten Commandments that Abba desires to grant us graciously to write upon the tables of our hearts. Yes. Children of the Most High. The time has begun that the Most High is dealing with those that do not 
love him. Mm -hmm. By sending them a strong delusion concerning his word. So that they should believe a lie. Uh -huh. The most high is using the flaming sword of his word as his weapon to guard the way to the tree of life. The most high will not allow his enemies to draw near to him. Likewise, the gathering of the tares into bundles is almost complete. Each bundle is easily identified. Each according to its particular delusion sent by the Most High. Each according to the lie it has believed concerning the Most High's word. But beloved, 5 a.m. pray. We are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation though we thus speak. Let us therefore choose to love Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Bend our ear to the doorpost, to the place where his word is written. Listening diligently that we might walk in obedience to him. Mm -hmm. And doing so, we shall be fulfilling the word of the Most High to us through Paul, wherein it said, stand fast. Therefore, and the liberty wherewith Hamashiach has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Amen, 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 and amen. amen.
so, 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 so good. Uh -huh. All I can say is bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And I started out with my soul. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Yes, yes. Because the Holy Spirit taught that thing. Yes. With understanding of how the scriptures was originally written. Yes. Oh, Lord, y'all need to go back and listen to this again. Share this video. Woo! So get to the blog spot, get to Facebook, get to YouTube. Mm -hmm. It will encourage you. you Have a supernatural day seven. Shabbat shalom. Rest in him. Shabbat shalom. Woo. I love you, love you, love you. Who I love you. Bye now. So good. So, so good.